Oh dear God. What is in these things? I just wish I could pour this stuff on my body. I want a body oil of these. I want body spray. I just want the body wash. I want everything. God, part of smelling good is making sure I smell good, hello? We don't like being dry. Now, if you are a black person and you value dryness, Yo, so let's talk about products that I have finished and it has been such a while. I have so many, they range from home, hair, body, skin, and one makeup item because makeup just takes the longest time to finish. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you're not, welcome back. I'm on TikTok and on the IG. So if you're not following me there, make sure you're doing that. I post three times a week here on YouTube and this is one of those videos. So let's start off with home. Now, I go through so many candles and I've gone through more than what I'm going to show you. I just keep forgetting to keep the candles. I go through them so much that I just throw them away. So these are the candles that I've gone through in my bathroom because in the bathroom, I remember to keep the empties, keep the empty containers. But in the living room, in the kitchen, I just be throwing them away, okay? So here in the bathroom, I've gone through with several of these forever mood candles. If you're like me, then you already know what it is. Partly because we stand Jackie, okay? She set the groundwork. She is one of us. We are one of her. And it's like, come on. The fact is the stuff is good. Okay, I'm not just gonna be spending my money just because out of support. Like the stuff is actually good. First is Leaf Me Be. Now I do have to say, although I love nine out of 10 of all the candles, okay? I actually think I like all of them. There was one, I forget the name, it had orange and chocolate in it. I didn't like it the way it smelled in the in the container. And then when I burned it, I was like, I can get down with this. I can get down with this. So actually I have loved every one of them. Some more favorite than others, but of course I've loved them. This one though, I wasn't too crazy about because I began burning it in the great room. Is it the great room? You know, we have an open floor plan. So I began burning it in the kitchen, which opens up to the whole house and I couldn't smell it that well. And I was like, what is going on? And I remembered this is a one wick candle and typically one wick candles are good for smaller spaces but in the past i've had great success with for instance caked up here and cuffing season oh my gosh grown folks business we not lincoln that chocolate series that she had for fall one of these years those are so potent is it called the throw they threw a lot further so i was assuming that this would be the same however these seemed a lot softer so i put it in the bathroom and then i was like yeah i can enjoy this i smelled it so good in the bathroom it just needs to be in a smaller space it's light it's sweet it's great i really did enjoy this will i purchase again no i won't because i look forward to the scents that are going to throw i want to be able to have the flexibility to either put this in the bathroom or the bedroom or put it in the kitchen slash living room so that it can really spread throughout the house. I like them a lot. It's just, it didn't throw like I needed it to. You feel what I'm saying? Caked up and cuffing season, I purchased multiple times. Absolutely love these two. Let me smell them one more time. Oh dear God. What is in these things? I just wish I could pour this stuff on my body. I want a body oil of these. I want body spray. I just want the body wash. I want everything. God, scents make me so happy. I kid you not. I will just go and smell something just to lift my spirits. I'm not lying. That's how important scents are to me. Having a scent in the house, having a scent on my body, on my hands, it just makes me happy. Cuffing season, phenomenal as well. So, so good. I can't talk enough about the Forever Mood candles. Nest always sends me candles, which I always adore. This is Charcoal Woods. I'm using the diffuser in the entryway and it is so strong, masculine, but to me, unisex. We discussed this. I no longer tote that line like, oh, this is a men's fragrance, so I can't like, no, right? Valentino Oma Coral Fantasy, absolutely love. It's a men's fragrance. It is a warm and sweet gourmand. I be rocking it and it is bomb. I don't even care, okay? So this is, is smoky tobacco, firewood. It smells like a men's fragrance, but it's so good. 
good. I burned this in the bathroom one wick, that's why. I've had other ones that I think are two or three that I burned in the great room, which really, really threw well. This gave me winter vibes, but I don't care. I'm going to create whatever vibe I want to in the crib, you feel me? So yes, I burned this in the summertime and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's so good. Like I said, the diffuser is in the entryway. So when I'm standing next to it, I'm like, ooh, what is that? So stinking good. So the Nest candles are always good. And this one is actually from Ula Henriksen. It is a, I didn't even know they had candles. I'm not sure if this was just a promotion or what, but I did do a campaign with them for the new upgraded version of their Banana Bright Eye Cream. And this this came before the cream though. And it smells really good. It's light, almost kitcheny, like, dish soap, you know what I'm saying? It's orange peel, tangerine, lime, sugar, grapefruit. So it was just one of those, which I enjoyed. It had the thick wet, the thick stick inside of it, which is gives you that crackling sound. Yeah, like a fire pit. Yeah, that. <laughs> so this was really good. I didn't burn it the right way. I'm learning how to burn candles the right way. I actually took a candle making class the other day and it was so fun. So I'm learning a lot more because you. I didn't realize that when you burn the candle every single time, you need to burn it till it gets to the rim. You know how you might burn a candle and then you gotta go somewhere you're like, oh my God, close it. No, if you're not gonna have at least an hour, don't burn the candle because then this happens. You got all this wax on the side, it's a waste and it doesn't burn clean like this one has. And even this one, you see the little circles, but still this one burned really well. This one didn't. And now when I burn it, it just won't go. The stick is done, which is okay. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. Let it burn all the way to the outside of the room every single burn. Otherwise don't turn the candle on for God's sake. So that has been helping me out. Now onto body care. Listen, I like to take showers. Part of smelling good is making sure I smell good, hello? So I'm not afraid to take showers more than one time a day if I feel like it. If I feel so inclined, why not? I'm not opposed to showering before the gym. All these different ways of thinking that I used to have, I, I'm letting them go. Yes, we pay for water, but like, okay, I need to shower. I wanna smell good. I don't wanna be, oh, I already showered. No, let's just do it again. Mm -hmm, let's just do it again, you know? And you know, thank God I'm in, I'm in over flow with all the body care products so of course right like lotion and things like that do cost money hello right but I'm in overflow and I need to use these things. So I'll shower twice a day and maybe three if I feel like it. So I go through a lot of body washes. Here we are with the Dove body washes. I do have dry skin and don't comment. I don't wanna hear it. Oh, then you should shower less. No, I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I don't wanna hear what anybody gotta say about it. Okay, so here is the, oh, they're, they're two of the same. These are the same, I didn't realize. The Dove Cocoa Butters Restoring Body Washes. The scent is phenomenal, okay? It's the scent for me. I've talked about that. And then of course, the nourishing aspect of these. I blew through the caress ones I have. I'm always blown through these Dove ones. They, I like to feel like my body isn't stripped dry after I shower because hello, I have dehydrated skin. I do have eczema, although my eczema doesn't flare too much on my body, mainly my chest, but I stay hydrating that. We've discussed this already. And then I did get this one right here that smells really, really good on the strawberry, what, peony, rose oil side, just so so good. We already know about their Olay body conditioners. Andrew Renee mentioned one from Jurgens, and I'm interested to try it, but I don't wanna put a body conditioner on after I've showered. So she said that you put it on wet skin, then you pat dry. This one you put on and then you rinse and then you do your routine. Should I try that one? I did just subscribe to getting this once every six weeks on Amazon. Are you doing that? Do you subscribe to things that you buy all the time and then just have it come automatically? I mean, I get it. I know that that's a luxury and I praise God that I can't afford to do that. I have been doing that because I'm sick and tired of having to get the same stuff all the time. Just have it on auto, like auto pay, auto, auto deliver. <laughs> so it could just show up because it's just the same stuff all the time. So I recently added that to my save and subscribe on Amazon. Because I shower often and because I have dehydrated skin, I like to take all the steps that I can to maintain the hydration in my skin and putting that on in the shower and then rinsing and then lotioning and oiling and all of that is like the thing to do. We discussed this dark skin. I wanted to say it's not black skin because you could be like, black people's skin needs to be hydrated. This is a blanket statement. You know what I'm saying when I say this. We don't like being dry. Now, if you are a black person and you value dryness, You know, I, it, it just would be difficult. It would be difficult. I like to see brown skin shining. I wanna see a sheen. 
on my skin. I want to see a sheen on your skin. I love when black babies are shiny. Like, I, it makes me so happy. Like, I need you to look oiled. You know what I'm saying? And this product right here, I enjoyed. This was sent to me by Bosha, and this is their Peptide Youth Restore Firming Body Serum that I told you all about. This is an after the shower product, and it absorbs into the skin really easily. It leaves a bit of a shine. This, and even the Olay one, they're not products that I can leave on and then do nothing else. No, ma'am, even in the summertime, I'm still gonna put lotion on because, excuse me, we gotta do that. And speaking of lotion, listen, I did not plan these segues, it's just happening. So, on to moisturization love sal Janeiro. love these creams this was the brazilian boom boom cream i used to always use this one and most recently i'm like i need to spread spread my wings you know i used to only grab these based on the scent <laughs> and i still and will always love the boom boom cream scent however this coco cabana cream is phenomenal as well and this one provides intense hydration. So this is gonna melt into the skin and not leave a shine, not too much of a shine on me. Whereas this one, intense shine, intense hydration, and intense fragrance. I love this blue one, just so stinking good. Worth every penny of it. I've purchased them several times. They send me PR and I'm grateful every single time because I go through them all the time. And then another body item is, we already know, the first A Beauty Ink Grown Hair Bump Pads with BHA and AHA. I've talked about this so many times. If you're new here, listen. Bottom line, oil soluble, so it breaks down the oil in the pores. It's going to cut out bacteria. It's going to kill acne. If this were a face product, which the, the ingredients are in face products, and it's going to kill the bacteria in your on your body, so in your groin, right, where the ingrown hairs are, or the armpit. Kill the bump that comes with the ingrown hair. Because it's gonna kill the bacteria, it's going to cancel out odor. You're still gonna sweat because it's natural, but this is going to make sure that when you do sweat, you ain't gonna stink. End of story. I have so many of them. I go through them all the time, and that is one that I just recently went through. One other thing by Sal Janeiro, I ran through this Tropical Nights perfume mist. What I also realized recently is that these perfume mists are also hair mists. <laughs> I used to always put them just on, let me get the little last bit, just on my body, but these can also go in the hair, son. Like, you don't want your hair funky either. Like, me, me and my friend were talking last time, we're like, you don't need your hair. Listen, I'm not doing the hair smelling like a flat iron, the hair smelling like roasted chicken, you know, the hair smelling like contumbris tuna, just why? Like, can we get fragrance in the hair? I would love that, you know? Praise God. Another body item is this one from Nest. Yes, Nest has perfume oils. I discussed this in one of my fragrance videos. This is their Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. Ran through this one, so good. I've been putting this on my arms and legs after lotion. Listen, the fragrance overload is in abundance. So I've been putting this on after lotion. Maybe I'll put on a, a fragrance-free lotion and I'll put this on, or I'll put on a lotion that has fragrance in it and I'll still put this on. Like I do what I want to do, you feel what I'm saying? This is added scent. It's just increasing the scent profile on the body. It's an oil, so it's gonna last a lot longer. In fact, there's a little, I can't get it unless I pour it out. There's a little bit in here. And with an oil, we are going to rub. It's not like a spray fragrance that we're gonna just leave. We're gonna rub this, you know? It's gonna last long. You can put it on the high points, you know, the usual points here, here, ankle, or like I do, put it into the hand and rub, 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 and I literally will lotion my legs with it and my arms, and it leaves a shine. I know in my older video, I said I didn't see a shine, but because I'm putting this on on top of the lotion and it is right away, I do see a shine. Another fragrance that I finished is this Givenchy Irresistible fragrance, honey. This is an Eau de Toilette, so what I didn't like is that it didn't last long, okay? I do understand that there are some eau de toilettes that have a higher oil concentration and do last long. This one I didn't feel did. Somehow I have two of these. <laughs> so this one I had in my bathroom and I blew through it because I knew it didn't last long. Look at me, I'm like getting every little piece out. It, I knew it didn't last long. Like, you know how you have something that's like, yo, this, this stuff be lasting, like it's real good. You just, you, you move through it a lot slower. With this one, I was just like, let's finish her off. 
you know, let's go ahead and finish her off. I'm just spraying relentlessly. And to be honest, there are some spritzes coming out, you know? So we're gonna, we're gonna add some fragrance to the bedroom right now, which I do from time to time. Make sure you spray your bed, spray your room, you know? And we're gonna get every last bit. Wow, this is relentless. Are you ever gonna finish? Anyway, it does smell really good. It does smell sophisticated, but it does have a lightness to it too that could go either way. It just didn't last very long, but I did enjoy it. <laughs> Now we are moving on to face. I've got two cleansers right here. All right, so you have the Tula, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. This one I enjoy, I can't lie though, it's annoying to get it out. I don't know if the product is thick, I don't know if it's the container, but getting the product out is annoying. It is a gentle cleanser, it was sent to me. It's not one that I would buy because using it is irritating. I just, I need to move. But does it feel good on the skin? Absolutely. Is it gentle? Absolutely. Is it nice? Does it smell really good? Yes. But the usability of it is, is annoying. This right here's from skin fix i did a campaign with them if you saw you saw and if you know you know this is a two percent bha cleanser so just like i said with the thirst a beauty ingrown hair bump pads it has bha in it this has bha in it as well so it's still going to break down oil it's still going to cancel clear out bacteria and the good thing about this one is that although it has bha in it which can be drying i did not feel dry after using this so just fyi and this I use on my face in certain areas, like my chin and my forehead. And I've used this on my ears to clean my ears to break down oil and dirt. Same with the back of the neck. I've discussed this a few times. And I've also used this on my groin, okay? That might sound strange to you, but if you were to ask your dermatologist, he or she would tell you that Again, like I said, with preventing body odor, which I did a whole video on it, make sure you watch it. It makes sense. Just watch that video, okay? But this was really good too. Another cleanser is this one by Dr. Dennis Gross. This one also has AHA and BHA in it. I obviously love to use these. I was using this again on my chin, my forehead, ears, anywhere where I felt like I wanted to break down the oil. And then of course, prevent acne when it comes to the face and then the groin area when it comes to odor causing bacteria. Now, for these products that are specifically made for the face, I make no claims that say that these brands told me to put this in my groin, okay? <laughs> but I have, and I have not had any issues. Oh, and I've also used the BHA cleansers on my armpits. Same deal, cancel all back the odor causing bacteria. You're gonna sweat, you're not gonna smell. Does it take away odor for the rest of your life? Absolutely not, okay? This is a daily walk. Pre-cleanse, Dermalogica, you know you've heard me mention this so many times. It is really good. I know that it's pricey. It really works. It has a light lemon scent to it. Put it on the dry hands, onto your dry face, like onto your makeup face already, rub, rub, rub rub, get some water, rub it again. It'll get milky, it'll break down the makeup. Then you wanna wash your face. You do wanna pre-cleanse first. I do not use makeup wipes. I don't even have any. Two other skincare products right here. First, AB Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. This is really good hydrating. I actually had an idea to do a video on dark spots and how I take care or took care of mine. So if you wanna see that, let me know. And then this one is from Dermalogica. It's their Circular Hydration Serum for advanced advanced hydration, enjoy using this as well because yes, dehydrated skin, I'm always using products that'll help maintain the hydration or put it back, you know, put the hydration back in some way because my skin is dry. Now, two older skincare products that I have are from Versed and LYS. This is the Versed Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum. Now, this is a product, being that it's an oil serum, that went in my serum step. So not the kind of oil that would go at the very end, but the kind of oil serum that would go after my cleanser right or if you use the toner or something like that then you would do the toner and then you would do this so this was interesting to use i liked that it was an oil but it still felt like it was melting into the skin and then i would put a moisturizer on top and spf this was definitely for the daytime because it is an antioxidant product that would work really well with spf during the day so i did enjoy this and you can even see from the consistency can you tell at all it was really interesting so i did enjoy this now did i see any benefits benefits from it here's the thing I use so many products that it's sometimes hard to know what is that what is actually doing what okay this is the LYS think bright glow hydrate serum with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid this I was using as my second step after cleanser and I enjoyed it I'm getting rid of it now because I've had this for a while so I'm sure that it's expired but this is a pretty cool product from LYS we all stand a black woman doing her thing at Sephora so that was good I always love glow recipe and I recently opened 
up one of their travel kits. So this Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum was in there. I finished it so quickly. I use this either day or nighttime for ultimate hydration. You know, I've gone through so many of these plum plump hyaluronic acid serums. So this goes without saying. This one I like because it's not like the, what's the brand that has the hyaluronic acid serum that when I put it on, it's hard to put anything else on top of it because it creates a film which is good, but then if you rub too much, something else on top, it pills up. This is not that. So I do enjoy using that. And then I finally used the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I don't know why I was confused to think that because this bottle is frosted, that the product would be frosty. I, as a consumer, didn't touch this because I thought that the product was frosty until one day I said, let me try this. And turns out the product is not frosty. I had seen a video also where it mentioned that this was almost like a makeup product in the sense that it made me think that it was going to add some sort of frost to my skin because of the product, because of the packaging. Anyway, I gave it a shot. I did enjoy using that. This one from Dermalogica I've used several times. This is their Age Bright Clearing Serum that goes as a second step, of course, closest to the skin, at least my skin can tolerate it. Great for controlling acne. So I've enjoyed this one as well. And then of course, gotta keep the lips hydrated because what I don't do is dry lips. So the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, this is the gummy bear one. I'm always using a lip sleeping mask, honey. So, mm, smells so good, nice and thick. Andrea Renee put me onto it. Now she moving on to something else, girl, I can't do it, okay? I'm gonna stick right here for now because I do love that one. And then speaking of Laneige, they sent me their Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. Definitely feels like a gel the scent is weird the scent is strange i don't like it gotta say okay but melts into the skin so nice not a thick cream definitely one that can be used in the morning and then put an spf on afterward And to makeup, of course, you know, I'm gonna blow through these Lawless One and Done concealers. This is the shade Mink because I use this to highlight my face. So good, I purchased this so many times. One of my favorite concealers for Sheezy. Very whipped texture, full coverage, blends beautifully. Just simply love it. And now in the last section, we have hair products. I've got three, one of which is the Sal Gennaro. <laughs> nourishing hair oil. This smells just like the Boom Boom cream and the Boom Boom everything. It just smells so good. I blew right through this because I use it when I'm putting my hair, doing the slick back style, or even just after I've washed it, going to braid it, whatever. So good, smells so good. Leaves a nice shine, definitely nourishing. Have definitely enjoyed that. I did also use this Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. It was sent to me and apparently it was viral on TikTok. I didn't catch it but I did enjoy this in the shower, same deal. It's an oil and to me an oil is an oil, at least in my experience. I am natural underneath this wig, which it's my choice to wear a wig. I don't know why it troubles people who are natural or not. What I do with my hair or what another black woman does with their hair, that is actually troubling to me, that that would trouble someone else. So just a PSA on that. Again, around here, on this channel, on my platforms, we do what we wanna do. And I will always and forever do what? what I want to do. Okay, praise God. And then the last item is this K18 Biomedic Hair Science Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. Okay, so this is a small container. It finished, in my opinion, really fast because it's so small in my hair. I use a lot of product on my hair and I was putting this in after I co-washed or washed my hair in the shower and I did enjoy it. It felt like it melted into my skin very easily. So that's that. That was a lot. That was a lot. And if you made it this far, then girl, you the OG, okay? This is a lot, I know it's a long video, but I'm glad you're here, glad you watched this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Do you plan on trying any of them? Are there any that you want me to try? Cause I might have it, or I might wanna go out and buy it to try it to let you know what I thought about it. So I will see you in my next video and I'll talk to you then. Bye.